All right, guys. So on this episode, we are gonna go ahead and get started on some of the fiberglass work for the trike. Uh, first thing I wanna do, I wanna get a seat formed in here so I can actually sit on something rather than putting the wood board across there. Um, and then we'll take, knock this down. We're gonna kind of wrap it up here. And then on the front side, we're gonna do a curvature all the way to the front. And then I'm still not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for the front uh, lip right there, but we'll get something on there. So stick around. First thing back here that we're gonna do, we're gonna take and make a cutout the same size as this and put it up here flush. And then on the back side of these, we're gonna take and do kind of like a little triangle to fill in that area. And then we're gonna do some potting compound uh, to add some structural rigidity in the middle between here. And then uh, from here, we're gonna flow it out on the outside of it and basically this whole upper portion is going to be permanently bonded to the aluminum back here. Now for the lower pan, that part's going to be removable just so we can get access to all of the electronics.
All right, so next I want to carry this arch to the front, but I want it to flatten out as it comes to the top. And so for that, I do have this piece of a uh, for sale sign. And uh, that's gonna let us take it down that way. And up across here. So we'll go ahead, get it equidistant on left and right, and then we'll tape it down in place and go from there. This is something I haven't shown you guys before because right now it just kind of looks like a little go-kart, right? Well, I also have this windscreen which is going to end up going up here like this. So still got to install that, but this looks like it's going to be right in line with what I want it to look like maybe down here. All right, so for right now, we're gonna go ahead, get this part done on both sides because we need that bonded down so we can do our infill here. And then we'll also do a coat on this, a single layer. After that, uh, we'll take and peel it back off, sand everything down so it has a good bonding surface bond it down on the outside permanently. And then we'll do our infill, like I said. And from there, we'll take and do all the way down one solid sheet on the inside. And we'll work it that way. And we're just gonna use chop strand for now, unless we need to do something that's complex curvature. And then we're gonna take and utilize some weave. I think it's starting to look pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and give everything two good coats of wax, make sure that it can release and go from there. So we'll do it here. I'm not so worried about doing anything else. I just wanna get this and the front started. For this, we're going to be using West Systems Epoxy Resin. It's a marine grade structural epoxy. Uh, we got the pump, so it's just one pump of each and we're good to go. So we'll get that mixed up and we'll start wetting all this up.
right, so this has had quite a few days to cure up now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sand down any of the high spots, hard edges, any of the spraying that's sticking up. And then we're gonna do one more slurry coat where it is chopped fibers with epoxy. Uh, fill in these voids over here. Same on either side right here and right here. I ended up with two divots where uh, the material didn't quite curve around like it should have. So we'll fill those in and then we'll toss one more layer of fiberglass on this and back here. We're also gonna take and pry these off. We got our micro balloons in. We're gonna mix up the slurry and uh, rebond these and then fill the cavity so we can get our backrest all fabricated up. And when you're uh, sanding fiberglass, wear your PPE, especially with epoxy. Next, I want to go ahead and pop these end pieces off. That way we can get them bonded down and remove all this backing and tape. Uh, and we can do a fill on the back side. There we go. So we'll scuff this on the inside, get it cleaned off, make sure we don't have any wax left on it, and then bond it back down onto the metal. All right, folks, and that's gonna be a wrap for this episode. We'll go ahead and do more fiberglass work in the next one. And in the meantime, if you like what you saw, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll catch you all on the next episode.